The World, the Flesh and the Devil is a 1959 American science fiction doomsday film written and directed by Ranald McDougall. The film stars Harry Belafonte, who was then at the peak of his film career. The film is set in a post-apocalyptic world with very few human survivors. It is based on two sources, the novel The Purple Cloud by M. P. Scheele and the story, End of the World, by Ferdinand Reha. Topic. Plot African-American coal mine inspector Ralph Burton Harry Belafonte becomes trapped underground in a cave-in while inspecting a mine in Pennsylvania. He can hear rescuers digging towards him, but after a few days they slow down and then stop completely. Alarmed, he digs his own way out. Reaching the surface, he finds a deserted world. No bodies are seen at any time in the film, some discarded newspapers provide an explanation, one proclaims, UN retaliates for use of atomic poison, another that, millions flee from cities, end of the world. Ralph later plays tapes at a radio station that an unknown nation had used radioactive isotopes as a weapon, yielding a dust cloud that spread globally and was completely lethal for a five day period. Traveling to New York City in search of other survivors, he finds the city vacant. Ralph busies himself restoring power to a building where he takes up residence. Just as the loneliness starts to become intolerable, he encounters a second survivor, Sarah Crandall Inga Stevens, a white woman in her twenties. The two become fast friends, but Ralph grows distant when it becomes clear that Sarah is developing stronger feelings for him. Despite living in a post-apocalyptic world and despite the fact that Sarah seems unconcerned with their racial difference, Ralph cannot overcome the inhibitions instilled in him in a racist American society. Ralph regularly broadcasts on the radio, hoping to contact other people. Eventually, he receives a signal from Europe, indicating there are at least a few other survivors. Things become vastly more complicated when an ill, white Benson Thacker Mel Ferrer arrives by boat. Ralph and Sarah nurse him back to health, but once he recovers, Ben sets his sights on Sarah and sees Ralph as a rival. Ralph is torn by conflicting emotions. He avoids Sarah as much as possible, to give Ben every opportunity to win her affections, but cannot quite bring himself to leave the city. Ben finally grows tired of the whole situation, realizing he stands little chance with Sarah as long as Ralph remains nearby. He warns Ralph that the next time he sees him, he will try to kill him. The two armed men hunt each other through the empty streets. Finally, Ralph passes by the United Nations headquarters, climbs the steps in Ralph Bunch Park, and reads the inscription, They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more. From the book of Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4. He throws down his rifle and goes unarmed to confront Ben, who in turn finds himself unable to shoot his foe. Defeated, he starts walking away. Sarah appears. When Ralph starts to turn away from her, she makes him take her hand, then she calls to Ben and gives him her other hand. Together, the three walk down the street to build a new future together. The film ends not with the end, but with the beginning. Topic. Cast Harry Belafonte as Ralph Burton Inga Stevens as Sarah Crandall Mel Ferrer as Benson Thacker Topic. Production Harry Belafonte was paid $350,000 against 50% of the net profits. Box office 
According to MGM records the film earned $585,000 in the U.S. and Canada and $500,000 elsewhere, resulting in a loss of $1,442,000. <laughs> See also The Comet. A 1920 short story by W.E.B. Du Bois 5, 1951 The first nuclear post-apocalyptic film produced and directed by Archer Bowler Survival film, about the film genre, with a list of related films Last Woman on Earth, a 1960 film directed by Roger Corman The Quiet Earth 1985, cited as an unofficial remake from New Zealand Z for Zachariah film 2015 a film with a very similar premise <laughs>